T's are now complete. The lengthening of uh, the wires so that um, the ESC power side and the motor side has been lengthened. And um, yes, now we should be able to fit it onto our frame. That's going to be the next step. Um, okay, I'm just going to put these plus minus in the areas. I'm going to bring the frame closer. Right. Our frame, that's front facing. And what I've decided to do with these ESCs, I'm going to put them on the bottom. Um, interestingly, uh, you may have noted that uh, I did shrink wrap these. Now, these ESCs do actually have LEDs, but... <laughs> unfortunately not too interested in the LEDs uh, whether they shine through these um, I don't particularly care um, but I am going to fix them to the bottom of the arms and that's going to be my next step I'm pretty much just going to um, use some cable ties to bring them in and I'm going to be feeding these all these cables through the bottom there and then into the top. Now that's going to be a bit of a mission. So I am going to remove this bottom plate so that I can get those ESCs and everything mounted in there a little easier. I'm quickly going to remove this. I'm not going to show that on video. It is an incredibly simple process. I've now uh, taken all, out all the screws on this bottom plate and I'm going to put that one side. Now these ESCs should be quite simple and easy to get mounted in here. Um, I did mark my ESCs. Um, for instance, this one's marked BL, which is bottom left and this one is marked as TL for top left. However, we must consider that since the quadcopter is now upside down, left and right need to be swapped around. Okay, so that's the top ones and the bottom ones. Um, that's just in keeping with the original uh, CX-20 configuration as they were removed so I will be placing them back. Now, under normal circumstances, when you are building one of these uh, quadcopters, uh, you would uh, set up your rotations, etc., irrespective of uh, the um, ESCs. Now, what I'm planning to do, which is going to be quite simple now that this has been removed, squeeze all these wires through here. all in there including the signal wire everything um, there's more than enough length on that side now and um, I've got enough space here for the motors motor wires I'm just gonna flatten these out and that's pretty much going to be my mounting so I'm not going to take a chance on uh, cracking or damaging the ESC board so yeah Let's just put two together and we just pull them together. It's just so much easier. Um, I will get some longer cable ties just for future. Right, and let's pull the top one as well. Just to space it out evenly. There we go, I feel that's more than enough. You don't have to yank it down all the way. Um, it must just pretty much hold down there, this way around. Okay, and there you go. That's going to hold the ESC nicely in place. And uh, I doubt it's going to go anywhere. And I'm, I'm happy with that. Right, and that is pretty much what I'm going to do with all four. And I'll see you by the end of uh, this process. I'm not going to record that. Um, it's all totally redundant. All right, I've just mounted the last of the ESCs and uh, cable tied it down. And uh, yeah, on top it looks a bit messy at the moment, but uh, uh, we have to consider that <laughs> obviously everything here will be soldered on and cleaned up. 
and uh, I'm quite happy and uh, all I'm gonna do now need to do the final step is just we just cut off these little remainders that is that the ESCs have been mounted so the next step is just going to be to uh, figure out the wiring you have to get everything fitted on uh, to get the uh, flight controller wired up again and uh, get these wires soldered back onto their spots uh, these signal wires are too short they do not fit um, and do not reach but uh, that means that I will have to get extension leads for these and uh, once I have uh, done them uh, I'll probably be getting the, the, uh, the female to male cables uh, just as extensions trying them if they are too long I might cut these and solder them again um, but I'll do that when I get there my next step is just going to be to solder these wires on yeah and um, I'll sort out the single signal cables later